Well, hello, my wonderful hive, and welcome to my latest reaction video. Today, we will be doing part four. Part four? How are we already on part four of my reaction videos for Natasha Cooper? Um, so today, I think today's clips are a bit more on the serious topics, uh, but I'm not sure because there could have been some other ones thrown in there. Uh, cause she just gives you so much to work with here. Um, I will likely have another video out today. So keep an eye out for that one too. But without further ado, we of course have to get this started with my wonderful theme song. And now the moment you've all been waiting for the Royal hostess with the mostest, the queen bee with the money, honey. B plus. That's right. And it's time you all bow to the real queen bee. Here she comes, the most beautiful bee. Stealing all the bees just because you're jealous? No, that's just a bonus. My actual plan is to capture all the queens. Their hives will then have no choice but to follow me. Well, hello, and welcome back, my friends. Welcome back. So, yes, what's on the agenda for today? Well, first and foremostly, we are reacting to Natasha Cooper today, part four. Uh, I will have another video out, hopefully today, hopefully today, um, which will be, I'll unveil the surprise, which will be reacting to our friend surviving the storms, AKA Dorothy, because she's back on her bullshit. And that means that I have to react. So I will be reacting to that. Um, and I will take whatever backlash I may get, um, because I don't care. Um, <laughs> quite frankly. So if you're going to come on here and you're going to run your mouth and you're going to talk shit, uh, quite frankly, I don't, I don't care about your circumstances or whatever else is going on on for, you know, I, I obviously would never wish harm on somebody, but you know, if you make the choice to come on here and run your mouth, then that gives me the right to come on and run my mouth too, um, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So before we get too far into it, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Um, liking my video is a free way that you can help out the channel. So before we get into it, hit that like button because I know you want to. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button right now. I've seen a little bit of growth on the channel since I started doing these. And believe me, it feels very good to see that, you know, you're getting some sort of, um, um, that people like your work. And also, while we're on the topic of liking people's work and whatnot, um, I also just want to remind everybody that you act there is a feature that youtube offers where you can you can go in and basically super chat me after the fact by going onto a video any of my videos and hitting that thanks button right there you hit that and it works just like a super chat um that way you can help out creators such as myself who don't generally go live but we put a lot of hours and effort into our content which i certainly do so it takes a while to put the clips together. Um, it obviously takes a while to react to them and to upload them um, and to gather the clips. And yeah, so I mean, it does. It takes a lot of work um, and time. Um, and any thanks that I can get, any anything anybody gives me is greatly appreciated, but of course not expected. So without further ado, let's let's share our screen, shall we, and get into it. Oh, let's see. Hopefully I, I have so many windows open right now because of, I was doing homework. So mm, let's see. Um, should be this one. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, let's do this on each other now all of a sudden you're all in different corners doing this and doing that you're all a bunch of fucking liars is what you are none of you have integrity none of you have morals none of you none of you have a backbone you blow in whatever direction the wind blows, blows and whoever, whoever you seem to think, think is in some semblance of power at the moment well guess what ain't a fucking one of y'all got no power because y'all are powerless you're pieces of shit dregs of society you're the kind of people that i wouldn't look twice at if i was out in public i would look down my nose and say uh and if that makes me stuff up or that makes me a snob, so be it. But that's um, well, Natasha, to be fair, 
um, if I was to see you in public, I might, you know, look at you for other reasons. Um, but I could say the same about you. I mean, you can call people whatever you want. You can say that those of us on here who speak out about you and speak the truth about you are all trashy, uneducated, um, losers who have nothing going on in our lives and are jealous of you. I mean, isn't that the, the general rhetoric that you have for, for people who uh, speak up against you? I mean, that's, that's pretty much my understanding of it. Um, you know, and I, I can't, I can't be further from that description. I mean, you can see, you can say that all you want. Honestly, it's people like yourself that I look at that way, um, especially when they behave the way you do. I don't judge anybody by their circumstances or, you know, with their appearance or anything like that. But what I will judge you on is how you treat others and you treat others like shit. So that makes you, my friend, the, what is it? The dredges of society. Um, and I will sound stuck up. Um, that would be you, Shug. Moving on. That is how it would be because I don't associate with trash. And that is exactly what all of you are. And you can put on whatever kind of airs you want to and pretend as if you were something that you are not, but none of you have a clue what class and morals actually are. You have no idea what loyalty is. The only thing that you are loyal to is yourself and your need for attention. Now, I will say, I mean, I guess that's kind of true. I am loyal to myself. That's that's fair um, because you can't expect anybody else to be loyal to you. And if you're not loyal to yourself, then ultimately you have nothing. So you need you need to be loyal to yourself. Um, that is something that is very true, uh, but I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Um, I'm also loyal to my subscribers and the people who support me and my family uh, and my friends. Um, you know, when it comes to YouTube, I mean, yeah, I guess that's fair. There's there's some serious loyalty issues that go on here. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Um, I've seen a lot of a lot of people that just go from one place to another and back and forth and back and forth and you know, you can speak that. I think how, what you say there, Natasha, does ring true for some people. I mean, I think there are some people on here who have no spine and have no backbone and can't stand alone. And, you know, they do run their mouth about you. No, that that's fair. Um, I will say, though, that Granny's watching, Mandy C., myself. Um, I mean, those are, I, I'm sure there are others I'm trying to think. My brain is not working. I'm recording this in the morning, so... Bear with me, guys. I have not had my caffeine yet, although I'm working on it. I'm working on the caffeine. All right, sip your time. Sip, sip. Um, so, I mean, I think a lot of us have a backbone. Uh, Melissa Jade. Um, you know, a lot of us, a lot of us are able to, you know, do our own panels. We sit up here, we we talk on our own. A lot of us don't even have panels. Um, and then you have people who have very strong personalities, such as Mandy C and Granny's watching who certainly stand for for how they feel um they don't back down um melissa jade you know she kept plugging and she had that channel when she broke free from you after what you did to her and she started that channel against all the odds against all the animosity that you sent her way and she kept plugging along and i'm sure that was incredibly frustrating for her yet she kept at it anyways um because that she's passionate about what she does and she doesn't care what you think. Um, and I I commend her and I admire her for that. Uh, not everybody who speaks out against you is how you describe. Um, I think it would be fair to describe some people that speak out against you like that. That's absolutely fair um, because I certainly don't like everybody that speaks out against you. See, unlike what you say, I don't, some of us, I mean, I can only speak for myself though. So if people get offended that I'm only speaking for myself, it's because I refuse to speak for somebody else or else I have permission to, um, because I would never ever say that I know how somebody feels or their experiences. Cause we all have different experiences. Um, but you know, I think that, I, th I think that, you know, for me, for me, for me, I certainly don't like everybody that speaks out against you. I mean, I don't hate bond just for the reason, because you I, no, that's not how it works for me. I mean, I know that you have this preconceived notion that everybody who dislikes you must be white trash. Um, yeah, you're, you're, that just proves further proves your ignorance, but let's continue. And you cannot stand when anyone else. Oh, I also want to add, because I'm going to plug myself. I never plug myself. I never talk myself up. 
but I think I should. Um, you know, I know that I've been more open about my struggles on here than I have about my successes. And I think that's because for me, it's been a really mixed bag. I mean, I've had, I've struggled since I was 14 years old and I've had years where I've had a really good stretch and, you know, then I kind of go down, um, a spiral. I mean, I've had a very consistent, good stretch for, for quite some time now. Um, but, you know, of course, because people seem to think that somebody's either all good or they're all bad, but it, it's not like that. Um, I hate the fact that a lot of people in your chat say, you know, the once a thief, always a thief. I don't believe that. I do believe in change. I'm living proof of it. So if you don't believe that people can change, I, don't, I mean, that's your loss. I'm missing out on some amazing people. Um, are there some people that never change? Yeah, there sure are. Uh, people like yourselves, actually. Um, but honestly, like, you know, I am, I, I graduated college. I am in grad school. I've been very successful in anything that I've done. Um, so I don't appreciate your saying that all of us are just these, you know, uneducated morons. So, cause that couldn't be further from the truth. I mean, I heard you, uh, I might've been yesterday talking about how, yeah, that's basically what you were saying that anybody who speaks out against you and says are just really stupid. And the reason that we don't know what we're talking about is because we can't understand these things um, or that we don't have a brain. Natasha, say that to my face. Say it to my face. You tell me to my face that I am not intelligent and that I am not smart and that I don't know what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about. Do it. Say it to my face or shut your fucking mouth. You don't know me. You don't know me. And I am one of those people that you fear. That is who I am. I am somebody who can think very analytically. And this is what this video is the purpose of it. I know what you're doing. You can't bullshit me with this. I do business too. So I do business. I do marketing. So I know what you're doing. And the difference between me and you is that I don't use manipulation to do it. I could, I could easily do exactly what you do. I know what you're doing and you're very good at it. Um, you, you do a mix of like psychological and I mean, business marketing and psychology go very much hand in hand together. I mean, we could, we could go on and on about that, but you know, consumer behavior and whatnot, but Natasha knows what she's doing. And I think her worst nightmare is somebody like me who also knows what she's doing, but you know, isn't going to bullshit her, um, bullshit with her and put up with her bullshit speaking out. And that's exactly what I plan to do with some of these more serious videos is do just that else gets more attention than you do. So in order to exact neither do you. Have you ever noticed that whenever Natasha goes up on a panel um, on somebody else's channel, she makes it all about herself immediately. So she doesn't let anybody else talk. You know, they'll try to say something and she'll talk over them. She'll start trying to dictate who's in their chat, that she doesn't like them and that they, they need to get out of the chat. And you can't stand when somebody else gets more attention than you do. In fact, I'm not really sure how you're standing, um, how Dorothy's getting attention over you right now. I, in fact, I almost feel like, and I can kind of tell, uh, I don't know if anybody else has picked up on it, that it does bother you. Um, because you're that kind of person that if somebody's sick, you have to be sick too, or um, because you need the attention. I know you type, Natasha. I know your type very, very well. Exacerbate the circumstances around whoever it is that you are currently dragging. You have to conjure up paranoid delusions and make it seem as if that particular person, whoever you're dragging currently, looks like they are the awfulest person that has ever been, when in reality, all of you are the same. So basically what you do. So you're talking about yourself. Is this like one of your moments of self-awareness? Um, because, or, I mean, with, or the paranoid delusions. I mean, uh, you might want to talk to your friend Dorothy about those. Um, she knows all about those. Um, but yeah, honestly, like that's exactly what you and Dorothy do. And all of your stupid little clip channel cronies that do really... Oh. I'm going to say it guys. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm going to say it. A lot of these clip videos that, you know, that stick up for Natasha, they suck. They suck. All these people are doing is playing a clip and putting like a, a sticker on a video in a video program. They're not doing any work. I mean, ugh, I could do that in 10 minutes. It's people that actually put effort into their videos that I respect. I don't respect clip channels that just throw something together and no, but I mean, her, her audience is, in, I'll, I'll speak, I'll speak about your audience the way you speak about art, mine, 
I, I really don't care. Um, your audience is too stupid to understand that because they don't know anything. Natasha, guys, what I'm trying to say here is Natasha has picked the perfect demographic for her scamming. And I will go into that a little later on. And I want to make it very clear that this is all from a marketing business standpoint. Okay. This is not to, um, this is not to speak ill of anybody. I don't want people to feel that way, that it's like speaking poorly about older people or uh, the, the, you'll see what I'm talking about soon. Low caliber trash who perpetuate and exacerbate things to turn them into whatever your narrative is at the moment. Half channel. That's how I see you and your cronies is trash. Trash, 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 people, trash, people look like trash and not like people look like trash and act like trash people. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, your, your, um, your yes men. Yep. Trash people. Okay. Wait, no, I'm back. And are stupid. They are stupid. I mean, why don't you concentrate on going and showing off your tits and ass like you said you was going to do? And give people who actually have a brain a break. Bet you wish you could do that, Natasha. I mean, to be fair, I mean, there's a market for everybody in that. So I'm sure there was somebody who would want to pay good money to look at you in that way. I mean, honestly, I mean, the Internet's a big, wide world. So before you get all salty because you're jealous that you have to sit on here and sad fish, which, you know, to be fair, to, you know, it, it's time consuming. Sure. Um when you could just post a picture of yourself. I mean, there are definitely BBW websites um, that you could certainly, there's some people in the community that have some experience with those. You're certainly welcome to go check those out. Um, but anyways, moving on before you shame somebody else, of course. Jay, that's what I'm saying. I'm e-begging. I'm e-begging, e-begging. I'm always e-begging. Uh-huh. Or them. E-begging, sad fishing, yep. whatever. Impact. Uh -huh. You can't make this shit up. Nope, sure can't. You cannot make this shit up. These people are. You can't make this shit up. You are. You're e bagging and sad fishing all day long. Um, there's a part of this video where, she, like, basically she starts sounding like a really bad country song. You know, well, I lost my dog and I lost my wife and I live on a subway. And, you know, it basically sounds like that. Um, but it's all for the purpose of sad fishing. And we're going to point out every single one of these manipulative techniques. You cannot bullshit me natasha you can't do it the different and like i said i would say you can't bullshit a bullshitter but i know that makes me sound bad but i guess that's kind of the truth you can't bullshit a bullshitter the difference between me and you though is that i have integrity and i'm not going to use my ability to do anything like that um to hurt people or take advantage of them because that is not who i am and that is not what i do but that's exactly what you're doing and we're going to explain exactly how I mean, of course, I mean, Natasha does her best to discredit anybody who speaks out against her and labels them as trashy or the fact that she's going on and on about how trashy we are and stupid and dregs of society. That just shows that she's threatened because she wants to discredit anything that any of us have to say in any way that she can. So we're all crazy. We're all stupid. We're all trash. Um, when I, I challenge you, Natasha, say that to my fucking face. Say it to my face face we're so stupid over there natasha's telling me to mass report you yeah are y'all that stupid for real she's got a whole damn community post up telling people how to how to report me she had it scrolling across her screen and she'll be up all night ranting and raving again because she slept all day she's fake as fuck her face is fake her tits are fake her voice is fake when she talks like this and she wants so badly for people to think that she knows something about me. Bitch, you don't know shit. You know what I wanted you to know. So there you go. Proof right there. She's manipulative. She knows she's very calculated. She knows what she's doing. She's saying right there that she only tells people what, you know, she wanted them to know. That, that's huge manipulation tactic right there. Um, however, what she forgets is that people can find things out through different reasons. I mean, there's a reason that testimony is legal in court. Uh, testimony is a form of evidence. Uh, you don't need to always have physical evidence from like the police and stuff. Testimony is evidence. So who's to say that there isn't testimony going around about you, my friend Natasha. Now, also, I mean, it's very clear that you're quite jealous of Mandy C. Um, and I want to make this clear. Okay. 
you might not be jealous of them as entire people in terms of Granny's watching and Mandy C. That's fair. That's fair. You don't have to be jealous of, because I, I know that in your brain, you think that you are somehow, you know, God's gift to humankind. I, I know that. So I don't think you're actually jealous of them in that way. But I do think you're jealous of how they look. Um, Cause those are two very gorgeous women. And um, I think you can't stand it. It's clear that you can't stand it. The way that you try to put other women's looks down is just unbelievable. And I always said that I wouldn't look shame. I always said I wouldn't fat shame. I, and I still don't like to do it, but sometimes it comes out of my mouth because your personality is just so damn ugly. And, you know, I know that you wouldn't have the same compassion for somebody else. So I've just, I've made the decision that it, I'm not going to, I'm not going to censor myself anymore. You know, it, I'm not going to do it. La la la. Exactly, Brennan. Like I'm over here holding a gun to people's heads, making them send donations. So I also want to point this out early on. So she uses this term a lot that she's holding. She's not holding a gun to somebody's head. Okay. Of course you're not. I mean, that do, do you not think that like, you know, somebody would have sent the police if you were literally, I know it's a figure of speech, but bear with me here. Um, you know, holding a gun to somebody's head. That's not what you're doing. But what you are doing is you're putting on, you're putting pressure on people um, in a psychological fashion. So psychologically, you are holding a gun to people's heads. Yes, you are. So I'm not sure if this is in this group of clips or not, but there was the other night where you were advertising your Patreon um, and you were pulling a tactic, which, you know, to be fair, I mean, th these tactics are legal. They're legal. You know, you're not technically breaking the law doing it. Sure. Um, but based on my moral code and what I define integrity as, it's a problem. Um, and so basically what you're doing is because there's a difference between selling and selling with integrity. All right. Um, I know you don't understand that because our definitions of integrity are very, very different. We've established that in previous videos. Um, but you were saying you were putting that that element of time on people and limits. So this is what people do. So if you've ever gone to buy um, like a concert ticket and or to a festival or something, and they say that they only have a certain amount of tickets available and then they'll put that sold out. Have you ever noticed that they start releasing tickets after the fact? Have you ever noticed that that it's never sold out never means sold out until like it until it does. Um, it's a whole like manipulation tactic to sell at full price. What I tend to do is if it's a music festival that I want, I know that those ticket prices are going to go down um, the less that they sell. And there are some I've gotten festival like like three day festival tickets for a dollar before. Um, and there were sad individuals that paid full price for it. <laughs> uh, I just know how these manipulate. It, it's psychological um, and it's a marketing strategy, unfortunately. Um, I think it's a shitty one. Uh, but it works but basically for her patreon she was saying that for she had like um i don't know it was a five or ten dollar tier or something and she said that there were limited spaces available so basically making people feel that they needed to sign up immediately um for these spaces and uh and then she continued to add more so basically she's putting pressure on people to spend their money now and yeah um, which makes people feel like they need to get in. It, like the fear of missing out is very real. So people feel like they needed to get in on that now, whether they put thought into whether they could afford to spend that money or not. They're not putting that thought into it because she is putting pressure on them to do it now when then she ends up adding it later. Um, so yeah, there, there's that. And they work, Ellie? I mean, she also uses the manipulation tactic where, as you'll see later on, where she's basically a bad country song, um, she'll go on and on about all of these woes in her life and how she needs money and she'll try to act like she's not bothered. You'll see. It, it is. I mean, if you guys can't see through it, I don't know what to tell you, but to me, this particular clip was very, very telling. Dead silence. I mean, what are you guys paying for here? Half, half her shit is dead silence. I know, right? She only got one of them over there likes each other. And they sure as shit don't like her. That's not true. I genuinely like Granny's watching. 
I, I don't know Mandy C very well, but from, you know, my experiences with her thus far, I like her. Um, I, like I, I've said this before, I don't really care what people have done in their past. I do give people second chances. I do judge people based on my experiences with them, not other people's, uh, or at least I try to, or else it's something that's like incredibly egregious. Uh, but I don't consider that. Just as somebody who was a troubled teen myself, I think I have a different way of looking at things. So I do. I do like them. I don't have a problem with either of them. Um, and, you know, like I said, I've gotten to know Granny's watching and she's actually a really nice person. Um, I know. I know. Shocker, right? I think a lot of you already knew that, though. Um, a, lot of you, a lot of you guys can see that things for what they are, clearly, because you're here. Um which means you have a brain on your in your head. Like, that's what that means. Paolo, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Back away from the plastic bag. Back away. This is my old man. I wish I could bring him on camera, but my old man. I had, I've had Paolo since he was a kitten, and I had my first apartment. Paolo, don't you dare. You can sit here. You don't fit, but you can sit here if you need to. Here, I'll, I'll move my Tylenol. Go ahead and sit. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. Um... See, now, now there's fur in my face, and now I lost my, my train of thought. Thank you, Poperdink. I call him Engelbert Poperdink. Um, his name's Paolo. I didn't name any of my animals. Um, not, a, not a one of them. They all came with their names. I've got Paolo, or though I, I did name Domino. I've got Paolo, I've got Chicory, I've got Traveler, and Molly. Um, and while I am on a tangent of a topic, make sure to hit that like button. You know you want to hit that like button. I've got a good, I've got a juicy video about Dorothy coming out. Hopefully later today. It's a good one. You're not going to want to miss this one. I debunk several lies in it. Several lies with definitive proof out of her own mouth. And if you want to see her picking up sad fishing techniques from her pal Natasha, wait till you see that she is emulating it like a boss. Um... But that's okay. I see you. I see you. Uh, I see both of you for who you are. And I don't like either of you. I think you're both very ugly people. And I don't mean physically. I mean, as human beings, um, as Dorothy says, I think you're despicable. I think you're despicable. Um, but okay, let, let's move on because I lost my train of thought. Radio silence. It's playing. I did another video where you just like... And then you've got Jessica uh, Lynn saying that she knows that I'm going to be jealous of how much money she made. No, I'm not jealous. I'm disgusted. I bet you are, Coops. I bet you are. But here, guys, if you are listening to any clip on this video, I really should have put this first. Damn it. Um, Because there's a science behind these YouTube videos, and people usually only watch the first, and I, especially if it's not very engaging and kind of boring, which I think I've kind of been boring today. Oh, well. It's a lack of caffeine. I'm working on it. Paolo, don't knock that off the table. Don't do it. Don't do it. I know. I see you. I'm working on the caffeine. Um, but, see, my brain just, like, decided not to work again. <laughs> oh, this is why I shouldn't record these things in the morning, but I so want to put this video out for you guys, because I've kind of, it's important. I have so much to say. But this clip right here, this clip right here is gold. This clip needs to be discussed. And that's exactly what I've come here to do. I'm absolutely disgusted. That people gave you money because of a lie. I'm absolutely, it's very interesting. So did you not receive money for a lie as well, Natasha? Um, so I don't believe that you have attorneys. I don't believe that at all. I believe that that 20K was used either for your family's Christmas um, or for gambling or just for shopping for yourself. Cause guys, can we not point out, because of course, like all of these videos are no longer here. So, I mean, she kind of, I mean, with her channels being down, I guess she kind of lucked out with that. Um, you know, because people can't go back and look, but did you guys not notice that she did that? She started that fundraiser in what, October, November. And by when the holidays started coming around, she started getting boxes upon boxes of Amazon stuff that she was ordering. She said in one point, which I have a clip somewhere, that it got to a point where the the mailman was just dumping everything into these huge trash bags and throwing them onto her porch because it was just so much stuff. And I don't see her doing a whole lot of that anymore. 
So I truly believe that she spent that 20 K on her family's Christmas um, or which is selfish um, and a lie and, and, or ordering all that stuff on Amazon that you saw in those lives. And anybody who watched those lives or was part of that community at that time, you saw the extreme amount of spending that she was doing. And that seems to have tapered out a little bit. And I, I don't think that's a coincidence. So tell me again, how granny raised money over a lie. Tell me again, Natasha. So let's continue. Let's find out. You lied about having cancer. I don't see it that way. I don't see it that way. Um, I'm not going to go into this on here. This is that's not what this is about. Um, cause I know that anybody, most people who support me understand how that went down. Um, this woman is trying to suggest that she lied about cancer and then raised money for it. Um, and then there's another narrative going around that she has had like some PayPal's to raise money be directly because of the cancer, which never happened. Uh, if it did, I never saw it and I see everything. I see all that's not true. I don't, I, I don't see everything. I see a lot of things though. I mean, you, you just happen to catch me at a time, Natasha, that I have some time on my hands. Um, and I do see quite a bit, but I don't see everything that's fair, but I, I, that didn't happen guys. Um, and the other thing that didn't happen is she didn't say that like her last wish was to go to Disney world with her kids, you know, like the make a wish thing. She never said that that never happened. She wants to go to universal studios. Like you're, you you do not even have it right. Um, but of course you guys are going to perpetuate that. And the only reason Natasha's mad about this is because granny's watching is making money. You want to make Natasha mad guys. You really want to make her mad you know what you can do to make her mad go ahead and in my comment section where i showed you go hit that thanks button go hit that thanks button and you can send me a, a um a paypal not a paypal i don't i don't know if i have a paypal um you can send me a um a thanks a super thanks down below so where that you know the bar where like your like and dislike button is and the little scissors and whatnot um if you go a little bit further to the right there is a heart with a dollar symbol in it and you click it and it works just like super chats. And it is a way for you to give creators who don't necessarily go live, um, money for, you know, to support the channel and to show your appreciation and thanks. And it shows up in the comments below highlighted. So if you really want to make Natasha and her supporters mad, go ahead and do that. Let's light up my comment section, guys. See, I can play this game too. Um, but really I would, you know, obviously I appreciate any and all support that I get. It is, uh, greatly welcome. Um, cause I do, I do put a lot of work into my content. Um, and while I greatly appreciate anybody, even just positive comments in, you know, if you want to just give me some positive feedback in the comments below or negative, um, that's awesome too. Or just hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. I mean, I, I would be perfectly happy with that as well, but if you want to make her mad, all you got to do is give money to people that talk about her and you have done your job. She hates it. She hates it. And don't let her convince you for even a second that she doesn't watch everything. In fact, I have a clip of her saying it very recently. Um, we, yeah, that she continues to watch everything. So yeah, she's watching me. She's watching me. And she is, she looks at that stuff. But to be fair, in case people, you know, because I know her, her supporters don't believe that. So if you're one of her supporters and you're watching me, which I know you are, I know you are because I know these things because I'm the all knower of knowing. Um, if you are, make sure you subscribe to me as well, because you're not going to want to miss out on the juicy info that I'm going to be dropping that you need to relight it, Natasha, because if Natasha really doesn't watch my stuff, if she really doesn't watch, you're, you're going to want to have this information to bring to her and show her just what I'm doing. You're going to want to show her proof of my fuckery. Um, so you're going to want to subscribe, too, because you're not going to want to miss any of these videos. So hit that red button right the fuck now. All right, let's go. Radio silence. How do people tolerate this? Half her shit is silence. And then Mandy goes live all night. She's back to her old tricks. And she says that, well, first she's talking about my PayPal pools and how I'm so pathetic. The PayPal pools are the only way that I have of making any money. Unless somebody sends me cash app or Venmo, the PayPal pools are the only way I have for anybody to send me money. And that's if they decide to send me money. So see, okay. So here's what she's doing. What was your excuse before when you did have monetized channels? I really wish I put these clips first. Damn it. Oh, cause these last 
clips are the juicy ones. Guys, please stay with me here. I'm so mad at myself. I'm so mad at myself. I might have to put in the description that people need to just hang in there because we are we are getting to the juicy stuff where I can prove some things. Um, but yeah, so she's saying that it's the only way that she can make money now. And that's if people send her money. People always send you money. So there she is using a manipulation tactic. There, there it is right there. She's saying that if people send me money, you know, suggesting that nobody does and that she, you know, doesn't make any money doing this. And people are afraid about that because she has said several times that if people do not pay her, that she's going to disappear. Uh, she's not, it's not worth her time. Um, so people don't want her to leave. They want her to stay because they, they like her community for some reason. Um, and they're going to throw money at her for that reason. I haven't lied about being sick. I haven't lied about having cancer. I haven't made up a relationship to try to get sympathy and views. I built my channel on my own. I don't, I've never used anybody to grow my channel to get views. I never have had to. That's a lie. Um, and you can tell she's very bothered about the whole money thing. That's all this woman cares about. I mean, I think it's quite obvious. Um, but you have lied, haven't you, Natasha? You've lied many times. You've lied about the attorney. Okay. In my opinion, um, I, I believe that you lied about a lot of things on here. Many, many, many things. I think you make up a lot of situations. I think you exaggerate situations in order to get an emotional response from your audience. I think that you're very well versed on how to do it. Uh, like I've said a thousand times, if all of these tragedies really happened to this woman back to back to back to back to back to back to back, to back, to back I mean, I, my heart goes out to her truly, um, but I don't believe that. I believe that a lot of these are fabricated um, because it's one thing after another that she needs your support with. It's like that Bernie Sanders meme. I am once again asking for your financial support. Well, that's what you're starting to sound like, like honestly. Um, but, oh, let, let's, let's keep going. It's, this is going to get good. I built my channel on hard work and it took a lot of time and they take it away because they don't like me. It's not because we don't like you. No. I mean, that's, that's true. We don't like you. Um, but we didn't take it away. That's false information. See that right there is a lie. That right there is a lie. Um, if there was nothing wrong with your channel, then you wouldn't, you would still be here. So like I've said a thousand times, you don't think people have mass reported Mandy C or Granny's watching? They have. I, I guarantee you they have. Your people have. And you've always you know, said that you have a, a better audience. So yeah, I'm sure every time you've suggested it, those channels have gotten reported. But you want to know why nothing's ever happened with that? At least with Granny's watching, I think Mandy C might have had her channel removed at one point. I don't really know. I, I, or she took it down herself. I really, I really don't know what went on with that. So I, I'll speak for Granny's watching at the moment. Um, but do you want to know why Granny's Watching hasn't been removed? It's because you, if, if YouTube even looks at it, um, cause it will, fl well, you know, it will flag for a human being. So I'm sure they have, um, they they don't find anything wrong with it. The difference is, is that what you're doing, what you're doing breaks terms of service. And I have a great clip of Dorothy basically saying that herself accidentally and then trying to cover it up and <laughs> Uh, I hope that's in my video about her. I think it is. Um, it's pretty recent. So yeah, Dorothy. Dorothy basically admitted to everybody exactly what you're doing that's breaking terms of service and then tried to cover it up. So, you know, you guys can have a discussion about that at some point. Um, yeah, I think this was even in the alive from the past couple days, actually. Um, but it, at least the at least one of the... Yeah, I, th I definitely think it was. Because um, I don't think it's even in one of my videos yet. So... <laughs> Let's continue, shall we? But the only reason your channel is down is because of you. I approved this on Twitter. Team YouTube has said this on Twitter. I don't understand how you say that nobody has proof of anything because I've literally shown it. And then I'm left out here, you know, having to get oral I'm over to pimp out my PayPal holes so that I'm making money. money. I'm sorry to keep pausing this, but do you guys hear her? She's saying that she needs other people to throw her PayPal pools because she's not making any money. This woman makes hundreds, if not thousands of dollars every single night in front of our faces. And here she is saying that she doesn't get any money and that nobody gives her money and that she's even had to go advertise on other channels because she, she doesn't get enough money when she fills up her PayPal pools every single night. Now, to people who do donate, I mean, I'm interested 
and anybody who used to watch her, who used to be part of that community or to give her money, I'm interested on your thoughts on this because I want to know how that feels, um, how that feels um, to be told that, you know, she's not getting any money when you know that you have sent plenty of money her way. Uh, because I can't imagine it feels very good, but her audience is too stupid or ignorant or uh, I don't even know what. I mean, you, you'd need a brain to be brainwashed. So, I mean, I, I, I don't want to say that, but yeah, here we go. Just to hate on me, just to talk about me and my family. And she still has her channel up. Thank you. So, Natasha, I'm going to correct you on that. So, while Granny's watching may have made her channel, it wasn't to, I think at later point, you say stalk and harass you. And your family, of course, because you have to add and your family because that adds emphasis and gets more sympathy, of course, of course, um, as as that does in this community. Um, but what I want to correct you on there is that while she may have started her channel to talk about you, um, she started her channel to basically make people aware of your your fuckery, which she was successful in doing. She had thousands of people who left you and, you know, went to see what she had to say and realized that she was right, including myself, um, which I always knew. I've told my story on here a few times. I was part of Natasha's community. Not, I wasn't in like super deep, but she would definitely know who I was if she was to know the name that I was under at that point in time, which some of you do. Um, I don't think it's relevant, um, but she would definitely recognize me. Um, I was going to post the clip of um, that... <laughs> I was going to post as a video at that time I went up on Natasha Cooper's panel because there were a few times I went up. Um, but then I was like, no, I don't want her to know who I am if she hasn't figured it out already. But I'm, I'm sure she has. Uh, she's not a stupid woman. So, you know, but whatever. Um, but, you know, that she didn't make the channel to harass or stalk you. She made the channel to speak up against what you were doing, which was criminal, honestly, in my opinion. Uh, this is when you were starting to ask for copious amounts of money. Chicory, don't you dare. I'm sorry. These guys are being like plastic fiends right now. Chicory, don't make me put you in the clink. Don't make me put you in the clink. The clink is the bathroom. Um, And before you say, I, like, no. The clink is the bathroom and where he goes when he is being aggressive towards my other cat. <laughs> which he is doing right now. So he's posturing at him. Don't make me put you in the clink, sweetie. I don't want the clink is the bathroom. It's not like he gets put in a closet or a cage. Bathroom's pretty big. And he likes the bathroom because he likes to climb on the shelves. So before people start saying that it's like, you know I love my animals more than anything in the world. So um, don't you dare step on the keyboard. I'm sorry, guys. My animals are being quite and now he's rubbing his face on the laptop. <laughs> I can't win. I have too many animals. Um, not complaining though. But yeah, Granny's Watching didn't make her, her channel to harass and stalk you. She made it to speak out against you. There's a huge difference. Don't get it twisted. You to the person that just sent me Do you guys see how this is working, though? Wait. So listen to what she's saying, and then see how fast these PayPals and Cash Apps start rolling in. Just watch. Just watch her. The wa Watch the master at work. Appreciate it. Tricked me again. You know, this had happened two months ago with your pictures. I wouldn't worry about it because I would know that tomorrow, the 21st, I'd get my check from PayPal, from PayPal, oh my God, from YouTube. And I would be able to, you know, pay for what I need to pay for. And I don't get that tomorrow, but she will. And so, get the teeny, get the teeny violin out. Would you like some cheese with that wine, Natasha? Would you, would you, would you like some? Get you a nice cheese plate with that wine. Um, but here's what she's doing. This is sad fishing, sad fishing 101. She's trying to make people feel bad for her talking about air conditioners. Don't you live in a mobile home in Florida? And you're going to tell me that you don't have air conditioners. You're going to tell me that, you know, you, you mean, you, I mean, says the woman who's raised money for security cameras, I believe three times now. Um, and every time that it would have been really convenient for you to, you know, have those cameras you know like what when what happened with the door which was a lie in my opinion um 
they're somehow not working and then you need to have a fund for new ones or whatever. So I don't believe a word that you say, especially if you live in Florida and we know that you don't tolerate heat very well. I mean, you've got those cold shoulder ventilated tops and everything. So, I mean, I, I'm not buying this for a second, but of course she's saying, well, everybody else gets their check and I don't because they took my channels. Nobody took your channels. Your channels were taken down for breaking terms of service and that is your own fucking fault. There is a reason that your daughter's channel has not been reinstated either. It's because the one of the things that you've done and I'm is breaking terms of service. Like what would be the reason for her not getting her channels back fast? Everybody else that I know that's lost their channels have gotten them back fairly quickly. Um, you are the only one who it seems to be taking a long time. And what a coincidence that your daughter's is too. Um, and there's one thing that you guys have in common and it's not being related. Just gonna leave it at that. All the rest. Mm -hmm. I know, Brennan. I know. I don't agree with that mess. I mean, I don't get a check, but that's because I don't make any money. So if you wanna, if you wanna, you know, send me some love, by all means, feel free to do so. It makes Natasha mad, and it also makes me a happy, happy bee. But that's okay. I don't expect that from anybody. I mean, I figured, you know, if she can, if she can do that, then I mean, why, why shouldn't I, right? I mean, what she hates most, guys. And this is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying. I'm trying to poke the bear here. So <laughs> that's first, first and foremost, what I'm trying to do. What she hates the most is when other creators get money, and it doesn't matter if it's somebody she supports or not. I've seen her turn on people just because they're getting money. But what she hates more than anything is people that speak out against her getting money. She hates it. Hates it. And we're gonna have a whole discussion about Dorothy as well, um, because at the beginning, I actually received criticism from Dorothy for running my cash app at the bottom of the screen. I received um, critical feedback, I believe, um, from her about that. Yeah, now she's doing that and making it. And she used to she used to say that YouTube system is in place. So people yeah, for a reason um, and that people shouldn't be running their payment info or wish lists. And now she's doing that every single day. Um, and that's going to become a problem for Natasha. Mark my words. That's going to become a problem. But we're going to watch Dorothy and how she is becoming Coops Jr. Um, and, and Natasha is not going to put up with that very long. I, mark my words. This is going to be this is going to be a problem. It already is. I, I, I can feel it. I see it. But that that's for a different video. Thank you to the person that just sent me the Oh, there you go. Yeah, I try to stay upbeat and optimistic about this whole fight to get my channels back mm -hmm. and all this mess. But you know, sometimes it's just it's just frustrating. It shouldn't happen. It shouldn't have happened the way that it did. People shouldn't be able to just take your income away for no reason. Nobody okay. took your income away for no reason. If you had been wrongly terminated, you would have had your channel back by now. I mean, especially if you have attorneys. I mean, if you have attorneys, that that gives you even a leg up on everybody else. I mean, you would if you had really had attorneys working on this and contacting YouTube, they give priority to people that, you know, deal with things legally um, because that's best practice to do. And I'm sorry, there's somebody doing landscaping somewhere like across the street or something. I don't know. Hopefully it's not too loud and you guys, it doesn't bother us. Um, but yeah, like, oh, my God, this woman, I'm telling you guys. The only reason she's gone, and, and you would have think that she'd have it back by now, but the reason you don't have it back by now, Natasha, and neither does your daughter, is because you're breaking terms of service, and not once, but multiple times, and you have evaded a ban, and I know later on in this clip, you say that we have proof of nothing, and that we're stupid for saying that you're under somebody else's name. Well, that's proof alone. The fact that you're still here right now is proof that this, isn't, this account isn't under your name, and that would be very easy to prove, but I have Wait, oh, I have things to say about that. And then you go into why you don't want to monetize. Well, I'll tell you why you don't want to monetize. And I will tell the world why you don't. You can't fuck with me, Natasha. I'm I'm just as smart, if not smarter than you are. I am business-minded just like you are. You cannot bullshit a bullshitter. You can't. And I will tell the world. Because the difference between me and you is I have integrity. And I don't use what I know how to do to manipulate and scam people. You do. And I'm going to call it out. I'm not fucking around anymore. I'm done with you. The lies. And then the people that get your, your channels taken down do 50 million thousand times worse, whatever it is they, they've accused you of. Jury. And the majority of the stuff that any of these no. people accused me of, I've never even done. I'm sorry. My cats are being really awful. Stop. 
stop eating the bags. So then today, Mandy, you know, they're all talking about how bad I am and how this and how that and oh, all this stuff. Poor baby. Um, thank you to the person that just sent a donation. To ding, ding. Um, Mandy's talking about how fat I am and how she could, um, that I've got all these PayPal pools and I'm so pathetic and so desperate for money. And all she would have to do is show her fabulous body. And she would blow me out of the water with how much money she made. So here we go. And this is the point where I was kind of afraid to make because I don't want to offend anybody. And I want people to know that I am in no way judgmental about this, but this is just a business reality. And anybody who is in my audience that's listening, who's familiar with business and marketing will understand what I'm talking about here. But she has picked the perfect demographic for her, her scamming. She has picked the perfect demographic for it. Um, because, because if my analytics are any suggestion of, of how hers are, which I believe they are because we share a very similar audience. It's that, you know, my, my demographic is primary, like very primarily, like mostly women. I think I have like 2% men, if, if not less, um, women ages 45 to 54. And then the second largest category is, uh, the group above that. So it's an older group of women. Um, so of course her saying something along the lines of, you know, a, a young woman is trying to shame my body. Um, that's gonna, that's gonna invoke an emotional reaction in her audience. Um, you know, she also knows that her audience may not be as technologically inclined and I, I, I'm not incredibly technologically inclined either. Um, but so she, she bets on the fact that they don't have an understanding on how a lot of this works and that even if they were to go try to do digging on their own, they probably wouldn't be, you know, they don't know how to find that kind of information. She bets on that too. Now she realizes that she has, you know, her audience, you know, for every group of people that might be able to do that and speak out against her, she still has an over overwhelming amount of people. It doesn't affect her bottom line is what I'm trying to say. And she knows this now, what she doesn't know, well, if she kept up with, you know, business practice, best practice, and she would know that as of this point in time, um, 76% of consumers, 70, and that's a big number, 76% of consumers are likely to speak out against brands who they don't feel that their values align with. And she is not used to that. So as of 20, this, this study was done in 2021. Um, and she's not used to that. She's used to people keeping their mouths shut. But as time goes on and people are more and more vocal about what they believe in um, and the Internet becomes a really, um, I, I don't know if I want to say a good platform because I think this can go either way, but a way for people to speak out and get traction to millions and or thousands or millions of people in the blink of an eye. Um, it, she, she doesn't like that because it, it works. You know, people are, are starting to call her out for what she is and what she's doing. And it, it's, you know, it's gaining traction and she can't stand it. Um, but let's continue. I'm just over here. Like what? And of course they're going to say I'm sad fishing and I'm doing yeah. this and I'm doing that. Well, you are. But of course, none of them ever, ever have a bad day or, you know, need to talk about something or whatever. They're all perfect people that never have any issues and any problems. And yeah, yada, yada, yada. Well, you have a problem every single day. It's like every day there's a problem and like a big problem. And you're the one saying that, you know, the minute anybody else has a bad day, you jump on it. But every one of your days is a bad day. You sad fish every single day. I mean, what makes today any different? I mean, except that you're putting on your manipulation full swing. And that that's such a blessing to me because here you are demonstrating every single point that I try to make within one clip. I didn't have to do much work putting this together at all. This is just you all in one swing being the full on con artist that you are. Thank you um, to the person that just sent PayPal. Do y'all see what I'm saying? It's just today has been such a freaking frustrating day. Um, the new fund is at 3.1%. They haven't gotten to me, Winter Moon. I'm just aggravated. 
I'm just aggravated with the whole mess. And then, you know, you've got all these people who get up here and they say all this crap and it's just complete and utter lies. The stuff that Mandy says, absolutely none of them um, do this crap. You know, they, they say. Uh, That's right. None of us do any of this crap. Was that a slip, Natasha? It's true. We don't. None of us are breaking terms of service on here quite like you do. Um, I'm not breaking terms of service at all. Um, so, I mean, there's that. And like I said, I'm only speaking for myself. Um, but, you know, you broke terms of service. And like I said, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what both you and your daughter have in common um, that isn't you two being related that might have something to do with why YouTube has a problem. Okay. I'm just going to say that. I mean, there are multiple reasons why you're not here anymore, but I'm just trying to link the two of you there. Hint, hint. It's a puzzle. Drop in the comments below if you if you um if you figure out my little riddle there. I can be I can be like some other people on here that like to talk in riddles, right? Okay. Be all cryptic and shit. I can do that. Drop in the comments below if you figured it out. What what do Natasha Cooper and Hannah Cooper have in common that isn't them being related or having a YouTube channel? Let me know in the comments below and like and subscribe, of course. Oh, it's just so frustrating. I well, as soon as I monetize, they'll just do the same bullshit again mm. because that's what they do. That's why I haven't monetized. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm tired of making channels. That's not why she didn't monetize. So here's my, here's my theory on this guys. So when you monetize, it's going to have to be under, you have to put in a name um, and an address and you know, you get paid if you get monetized. That's what it means. As most of you I'm sure <laughs> figured out uh, by the word. Um, and Paolo, I swear to the good Lord above, you need to stop at the plastic. I might have to get up, guys, and go feed them in a second um, because they are being very annoying. And usually that means that their food dish is empty or half empty. Um, you know, it's cats. So, um, but no, with the monetization thing, she doesn't trust anybody. So, especially with money. So there is no way that she is going to let any payment of any sort go to any other person besides herself. And I think what she's discovered is that her AdSense account has been flagged. So if she was to use her own AdSense account, which I want to correct some misinformation that even myself have put out in the past, you can have as many channels as you want under one AdSense account. But what I think she's realized is that her Google, because it is through Google, her Google AdSense account under her name has been flagged. So every time she tries to monetize under her own name, an AdSense account, it's going to, she's going to go because YouTube is not playing around. So the fact that her channel, this is proof right here that her name, it's in under another name. So she's not going to have, I mean, I, I heard secondhand, so I can't prove this. I, I don't know whose name it's under. Um, I have heard that it is under your dirty hooker, um, the, her legal name. So, I mean, let's, let's use that as, as our hypothetical, considering that's who I've heard from multiple people. Um, yeah, so let's say it's under her name. Um, she is not going to let any of those paychecks go to her. There's no way in hell. She doesn't trust people. Not, and because everyone turns on her because everybody sees the truth eventually, at least most people do. Um, although if that person ever does, I don't want her in my community. I'm all set with that. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but yeah, she ain't coming here. Um, but yeah, so that's why she's not monetizing. It has nothing to do with the fact that <laughs> that she's tired, that they're just going to take the channel down. No, you're, you're right. They are just going to take that channel down, but the, they is YouTube and Google. It's not, it's not me or anybody that, you know, speaks up about you. That that's not correct. Um, but that is my theory on that. It's because if she does, that's, that's what's been alerting Google to her. the fact that she's here is because she'll try to put her own ad sense on it. And they're like, Oh, well, this channel is Natasha Cooper, even if it isn't somebody else's, you guys know what I'm trying to do. You guys, you guys pick up what I'm putting down. All right, let's move on. I'm tired of having to make sure that everybody knows where I'm at because they take my channels down every other day. It's exhausting to go to bed at night and not know if your channel's going to be there in the morning. Well, yeah, if you monetize and you're putting your ad, yeah, Google is going to take it down because Google has said, Google slash YouTube has said, you're not supposed to be here. I have proved it through their own statement, through your own Twitter conversation. Do you not? What she's counting on and what she realizes is, is that more people than not in her community don't know how to use Twitter and don't have Twitter. I have seen her, 
I, I've observed her chat to kind of do some market research on this when she has discussed Twitter. Most people in that chat either don't have a Twitter or don't know how to use it. And if if they're not going to they're not going to do it. And I've even looked. It's a very small it's it's the same people obsessively tweeting over and over again. So she knows that nobody's going to go over there and look. And she also knows that because she has such tight control over the people in her community that she that they're not going to go and look elsewhere for themselves. And if they do, she has done so much to discredit us and to make us sound like we're the crazy ones that they don't believe that what they see isn't doctored. Um, do you guys get what I'm putting down? Hopefully I'm being clear about this because these are some major points that people need to understand. I know you dirty hooker, but today I'm not feeling much like it. I'm not feeling much like much of nothing today. Hannah asked me if I wanted to do a makeup sale. I don't even feel like doing that and I love doing it. Sad fishing, sad fishing. I'm a clever, I've done that. I mean, you think about how many weeks I went and did. I did true crime for two weeks. They don't care. They streamed hmm. that from other platforms. And today I'm just tired. I'm tired. You know, I'm yesterday with that wreck and the stress of that and um and then coming home yesterday and freaking air conditioner situation and trying to get all that figured out and um and then Madison oh. passed away this morning. It's just all here. Rest in peace, Madison. Obviously, I have nothing bad to say about that. That is a really sad situation. Although I do wish that if you know you are to do a fundraiser for another person on this platform, um, my my sense is that that money should not be passing through your hands. So if I was to be doing a fundraiser for somebody who is in need, I would be sure to link it directly to their GoFundMe or PayPal pool. I would not have that money pass through my hands at all. Um, I think that's just best practice. I think that's just the best way to go about doing that. But here she is, you know, sounding like a bad country song, you know, just laying it on thick because she's that bothered by Granny's watching getting money. Um, so like I said, if you, if you want to make Natasha Cooper mad, just give people money. It doesn't matter if it's, it, it's going to start causing problems between her and Dorothy. Mark my words. Hit me like a ton of bricks. Karma, the attorneys are still doing what they've been doing it doesn't take months this has been since what october november natasha you don't have attorneys everybody knows it and you know you keep saying just wait just wait just, well i'm waiting i'm waiting come at me go ahead go ahead go ahead see what happens see what happens because i am not a trash person i am not that person that you describe in all of these things that that ain't me you picked the wrong one um so yeah, I mean, it's sort of, I don't. Even, you have no legal grounds, Ugh. and she knows she knows her audience so well, and she knows how to mobilize them, and she she knows she, this is all down to a science for her. But she's really laying it on thick because she's pissed. Bothered. They've been in contact with YouTube. It's just a pain in the ass because it takes them forever to respond because they don't care. Nobody cares. <laughs> They're laughing at you. They're laughing sorry, Sarah, laugh at you. you and your family in prayer. They are laughing at you. I'm laughing at you. Everyone is laughing at you. You're a fucking joke. Some days I don't know how to do either. I'm a playwright. I'm going to tell you. Because I'm just, I'm so frustrated with this entire situation. Oh, poor baby. So frustrated. It doesn't help that I'm hot. You're not hot. Well, okay. yep. maybe temperature wise, but you ain't hot. Yeah. Did, do you guys remember that website, hotornot.com? I remember that website. <laughs> I think I posted a picture on it once when I was too young to have been posting. It. <laughs> I'll say that. But like I said, my parents were very attentive and they thought, I mean, my parents are in their like 70s. So like, you know, they, um, they really don't, they weren't really technologically inclined. So I was able to get around anything, but I remember being very, you know, I bet if I posted one now though, I'd get, I mean, yeah, I had a very awkward teenage phase, but you know, I do, I do get a lot of those Facebook messages from like old, like people from high school and middle school. They're like, damn, you got hot. And I'm like, yeah, block. It was a hornet when I'm hot. Sure. You don't get that though, Natasha. You know, if she rents, which I believe she does, I believe it is the landlord's responsibility in Florida to provide air conditioning. I believe that that is a law. Um, somebody might 
if, if you're in Florida and you want to correct me, um, I could be wrong about that, but I believe that it is a law that they need to provide um, air conditioning for you if you're renting. So make that make sense. I know somebody else who likes to lie about renting slash owning their mobile home um, because they've learned from Natasha and used it to sad fish recently. I mean, I got, I got clips on that. I, guys, stay tuned for my one about Dorothy. I've got some juicy clips. I know you already hooked my hand hard. Can't say you need a vacation during your vacation. Well, it wasn't really a vacation for me, it was for Hannah, but I enjoyed myself. I said yesterday, I have never in my 47 years seen it this hot. This soon. We normally, we normally don't, don't see weather, weather like this until August, and, and it, is it is absolutely ridiculous. ridiculous. So I heard from somebody who lives around her in Florida that it is actually not that hot there right now, because it's actually unusually cool where I am. Um, but obviously, I'm not in Florida. So I mean, I can only speak for myself. Um, but somebody somebody said that it wasn't actually that hot at all there. So is she using that as a manipulation tactic as well? saying that, you know, she doesn't have air conditioning and it's just so hot and she's melting because she's a witch, guys. Remember, she's a witch. So she's melting because she's a witch. Mm -hmm. Yep. See, this is all making sense. Vivian, you genius. Look at you. <sighs> See, it all makes sense now. She's a witch and she's melting. That's why she needs those ventilated shoulders because she doesn't want to melt because she's melting. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I call manipulation. I call bullshit. Hard. I call shenanigans. Thank you to the person that just sent a donation. Oh, there we go. Um, the new fund is at 3.33%. And you know what, Mandy? You can sit there and you can act like you don't know how old I am. And, um... See, getting a reaction out of the fact that her audience is older. Making it seem like we're age-shaming. Which we're not. 40s and new 20s. People tried to give me channels. A lot. A lot of people tried to give me channels. I didn't want them. And as far as you should be being fake, y'all are idiots. People have seen the messages. They call should have blended that highlighter on your nose, sweetie. I mean, that needed a little bit more blending. I know you have like all the makeup supplies to do it. The eye makeup is popping though. I mean, that look that, that looks like it would be nice for hazel eyes. I'm not sure if you have hazel eyes, but gold always looks nice with hazel eyes. Um, and yes, yeah, so let's continue. And well, we'll go into douche canoe in a second because um, she is now because everybody I've gotten in comments. People are saying to me, they're like, hey, you know, there can't be anybody that actually believes that douche canoe is real. Well, she's actually pushing that narrative pretty hard here. So she wants people to believe it's real and. Like I said, she knows her audience. So she knows that her audience is not likely to understand that the fact that it's coming from an actual phone number means nothing. Somebody could be texting her, like somebody in her family. She could be texting herself. She said multiple times she has multiple cell phones. Um, so you showing a text from a number, it, it means nothing. You could be texting yourself. There are apps that'll let you do that as well. But she knows that the majority of her audience won't pick up on that. So it doesn't affect her bottom line. Uh, they went back and forth with him. Either on the phone or by text. I don't care if y'all don't think he's real. I wish he wasn't real. I wish he would lose my number. And I sure wish that the bad, badly accented bitch version of Puss in Boots who has a bladder issue would stop. What? Like I was saying. Wait. Um, why would anybody care about what percentage? Like, honestly, if somebody didn't like her that much, that they were trying to point out to her that she's always talking about that and making fun of it. Why? If they were seeing that it was working, that it was working, that it helps her gain more donations. Why would they continue to text her? That doesn't make any sense. So you're still playing with the rhetoric that like, or the narrative that, you know, you don't like this person and you wish they would, you know, lose your number and stop and go away. Um, so if it's somebody that's your enemy, then, then why would, they, why would they continue to, to text you if they didn't like you when they see that that works? That doesn't make any sense, Natasha. It's just, it's just it's ridiculous. ridiculous. It's ridiculous the way that she acts. It's ridiculous the way that she blames everybody else for the things that she's done. Like you? It's ridiculous that any of us have to listen to this ridiculous mess. 
she, nobody has to listen to it that's the beauty of youtube if you don't want to watch it you don't have to listen to it so why are you telling your your subscribers and your audience that they have to, that doesn't make any sense natasha if they don't want to listen to granny's watching or mandy c or me or anybody else which you don't want them watching anyways i mean you've said it multiple times lately because you don't want the narrative being broken that you have so you do you, you've been tightening up the reins you've been tightening up the control and trying to you know tell people that they should only listen to you for information i mean uh, let's be honest now. She started her channel with the sole intent and purpose of harassing me. Sole intent and purpose of harassing me. And now that she's getting a little bit back of the same thing that she's done to me and my family, now it's a problem because it's being done to her. No, it doesn't work that way. And you can lie to your PO all you want to. And when you do, I'm going to we, we, we discussed this earlier that it doesn't, it doesn't make, it, she didn't make it to harass or stalk anybody. She made it to speak out. I'm sorry. It's loud in my background. Make sure that those lies are corrected and that your PO knows the truth that you were the instigator. You started a channel with the sole purpose to stalk, harass and bully me and my family for no other reason, but that you didn't like me. What'd you say last night? That people shouldn't do these things just because they don't like somebody on the internet. What call and kettle there, Suge? Because that's exactly mm, what you did. Okay. And that's exactly why you started your channel. Back at you. The only difference is I can take the mess and you can't. You have Clearly she can't take the mess because she's whining and complaining about it and crying. Or I'm sorry, do you only not be able to take the mess when it's convenient for you? So she claims victim when it's convenient and gets her money. And then she claims not victim because it makes people think she's confident and give her money. I mean, uh, and, and I'm sorry, the highlighter on your nose is really bothering me. You might want to get a beauty blender or something and kind of you know tap that in. It's it, it makes it look like Rudolph, like a really unhealthy Rudolph that probably doesn't do much of anything but sit in its stall and sad fish. I have to cry and whine and lie. Mm. And I haven't lied about anything. Okay. Not one thing <laughs> sure. I lied about. Okay. <laughs> but you, you, all you do is lie. Hot meat kettle. And you want to talk about how I'm jealous of your money that you made. Uh, you just proved right. it. I'm not jealous. Sure. She's got a lot of highlighter on those bags under her eyes too there. You know, Somebody said something yesterday and it really, really, they're correct. You know, I'm on here normally about six hours a day on average. And Sad. thank you, Chris. I don't know that I even want to get monetized by YouTube again, to be honest, because of course you don't. If you can't people continue to become members on Patreon and my website and Guys, look at that. You heard it here first. You know, Natasha Cooper making her own social media platform uh, because that's going to work. Who the fuck is signing up for her website? <laughs> Good luck getting your credit card information back. I feel like that's going to be a situation where you're going to have to cancel it. Then I don't have to worry about the 30, 40% that YouTube takes. You know, mm. it is what it is. But I'm not jealous of you. Yes, you are. Million. Exactly, November rain. And that's another thing. Thank you. Don't worry about it. That's another thing that pisses me off to no end. Nobody over here. It's not in somebody else's name, you dumbass. Y'all are so stupid. Sure about that? So absolutely stupid. No, I'm not stupid. And neither is my audience. But thanks for blowing through all of your aunts. So... Anybody who can't afford to give, duh, they know that they, y'all act like somebody's over here holding a gun to somebody's head. We went over this. Show me, prove, prove that this channel is in somebody else's name. Just did. The fact that you're not monetizing and the fact that you're still here. Those two things alone are strong indicators that more likely than not, you are here under somebody else's name. Because if you weren't, first of all, um, you probably wouldn't be here because Google, you know, doesn't let you keep your channels up very long because you're not supposed to be here. And secondly, you'd be able to monetize. But every time you monetize, that's when your channels go down because your AdSense account is flagged. Prove that my funds, I donate to myself. I can't prove that at all. 
Uh, if somebody else can, great, but that would not surprise me at all. But I can only speak to the, the first one of those things. Prove any of these accusations that you make. People have. But she knows people aren't going to go look for Prove themselves. It. Just because you think something doesn't make it true. Uh, I don't think these things. No, they never prove anything that they say. Not ever. true. I do. I have. I've proven the Twitter stuff. I have proven that Team YouTube has told you you are terminated for terms of service. Once. She's made that multiple times, Natasha Shush. And you know it because you count it. Get over your damn self. Ain't nobody jealous of you. Mm, big to differ. Nobody. I'm not watching the stuff about Gabby's parents in court, and I don't want to talk about it because it pisses me off that I am unable to cover the case like I want to because they got my channel taken down. So let me correct you on this, Natasha. The reason that you're upset about that is because you're not able to cover the case like you want to, meaning extorting money from people. Not extorting. I'm sorry. That's an extreme word. Um, tragedy pimping and making money off of it. And you know, and see, here's the thing, because you do know your audience, don't you, Natasha? And you know that without the brand recognition, your brand so I'll, I'll give you this, you know, just for this conversation's purposes, your brand being true crime with Natasha Cooper, because you had a large audience and people recognized that without your, like you could cover it under your queen Natasha or true crime and sass or whatever the fuck. Uh, but nobody would care because they don't know it's you. Um, and your current audience is there for drama. They're not there for your true crime. They don't really give a fuck. You've tried and they don't care. Um, so without your brand recognition, you would get very little views, a very little, um, you wouldn't rake in money for it. And you know it, you know, that the audience you have now is just drama, which is why you're amping it up is because that's all they're there for. They don't care. You're not relevant or else you're doing drama. Um, whereas with your true crime, you did have people that were interested in true crime. Um, not entirely all of them. And you say that you don't have drama on your true crime channel. Yes, you do. Some of your, fr I got some of my clips of you doing drama from the, your videos right from there. Any of you that want to watch it, I suggest you go to um, WFLA and watch it there. She's a salty bitch. Okay. Well, let's stop sharing here. All right. Where are we? Did I just boot myself? Oh, no. Okay. I'm sorry. I thought I booted myself. I was like, no. No. All right. So I guess that's the end of that clip. And that will conclude our part four of, you know, B plus reacts to Natasha Cooper. Uh, well, I, you know, have my audience here. I hope you enjoyed that video. Stay tuned today. I'm going to, I think I'm going to drop the Dorothy video today. I think I'm going to, you're not going to want to miss that one. It's juicy. It's got some blatant lies and some blatant fuckery that we're going to discuss in it. Um, yeah, we definitely are. So let me close up with saying, like I have mentioned before, you you can still support channels that don't necessarily go live all the time. I'm not sure if a lot of you know that there is this function. If you go to the bar where you have the, the like and the dislike function, you can slide over to the right and there's a heart with a dollar sign and it's called a thanks and you can super thanks me. So basically what that will do, it'll it'll highlight your, um, your comment in the comment section um, and... It will, it works just like a super chat. So it's a way for you to support creators that don't go live, um, and show them some support and appreciation for the time that they spend making the videos that they put out to you. Um, like I said, absolutely no obligation to do so whatsoever, but any and all donations are obviously appreciated and they piss Natasha Cooper off. So, you know, it's a double win, right? Um, but it is also just as helpful if you hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, you know, supporters and haters alike, you are not going to want to miss what I have coming. Um, and I appreciate each and every one of you. So obviously no obligation, just wanted to let people know and remind people that there is this function here that you can give, you know, your thanks and super chat, even if it isn't alive, um, which I think it's a newer feature. So I, I just wanted to make people aware of that. Um, and yes, so oh, let's see. What is, oh, wow. Yeah, we are. It's an hour and 20 minutes. So, 
yes, this video is going to be horrible to upload. It's probably going to take quite a bit of time to upload. So I apologize. Hopefully, hopefully it'll drop at a reasonable time. But if it doesn't, then I don't know. Hopefully it will. Hopefully it will. And yeah, so I will log off of here for now. I hope everybody has a wonderful Thursday. Um, I sure will try. Um, not sure if we're off to a very good start today, but we, we shall try. Um, but yeah, I'm going to drop that Dorothy video soon. So as soon as this one uploads, I'll try to get that one out as well. So yeah, everybody have a great day. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the flip side.